Welcome, everyone, to an episode of Project Architect 2. My name is Pugnacity, and uh, we got a lot of stuff to do today because, uh, you know, we're starting out episode one of uh, Project Architect 2, a mod pack created by another uh, content creator by the name of Chosen Architect. And uh, this mod pack features um, heavy use of uh, Project E, which is... Uh, a rewrite of the old equivalent exchange mod. Oh, hello there, Mr. Uh, guy. He wants to get in on the on the screenshot. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump right in, and uh, we'll kind of cover the basics as we go along here. So, to get things started, uh, first, I was originally uh, streaming this, uh, this mod pack on Twitch and uploading my VODs to uh, YouTube, but those videos were ending up really long, and uh, I felt like it probably wasn't like super fun for most people to watch that uh, type of format when you're not here in person live. Um, and so I figured that I would start over, uh, create a new world, and what is over there? Oh, that's the old. That's the old world. Um, I, I figured I would start over, uh, create a new world, create a new. Uh, I don't know, just a new playthrough, I guess, um, and kind of break this down into shorter episodes that are maybe a little bit more digestible, a little bit easier to follow along. So um, we're kind of starting off here with, uh, I am at kind of, you know, bare minimum, I have built a house and I have some tools. I got lucky uh, before I came over here. If we take a look at the mini map, uh, I started off way, way over here um, near this village, so... Uh, I actually have traveled uh, far west, northwest-ish. Um, I found this area that I like, uh, and there's a tiny little village here. So, um, yeah, I was able to start off just kind of like a normal setup. I got some stuff, some just random loot from drops, and uh, crafted myself some slime boots, a slime sling, and a glider to be able to get around. So it's actually pretty fun with the slime sling. You can uh, shoot yourself up, and there's a tree above me. So... Uh, you can sling yourself up in the air, and then uh, I've got the slime boots on, so obviously I'm not going to take the fall damage. But what's really fun is uh, you can sling yourself up and switch to your hang glider and bust out the hang glider. So that is a really, really awesome way of getting around early on uh, before you have any kind of other flight options available to you, plus the slime boots uh, preventing the fall damage is super sweet. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Um, I need to get some stuff set up real, real badly. I don't even have anything inside my house. We go inside. It's just an empty box. But we'll kind of fill this in. We'll make it home, make it personal. And uh, I used the. Uh, oh boy, where is it? Um, is it in my offhand? It's in my offhand. I used the trowel, which I have I actually learned this on my tablet. Uh, I used the trowel to build the house. So I had. Uh, all of these different types of stone blocks in my on my hotbar, and then with the trowel, you just place them. It'll kind of randomize, uh, randomly place blocks from your hotbar, I think, um, which is pretty cool. Placeable blocks. So that's how I was able to build my house. Um, just kind of, I built the whole shape like that, and went through, and then just kind of filled in some details. So like the logs, and then the stripped logs here, um, and then the windows in the front, uh, just to kind of make it pop a little bit. So. Yeah, I actually like that. I, that's another thing I learned from uh, Chosen's, uh, his playthrough of this mod pack. So we're going to learn the trowel. Uh, actually, I'm going to put the trowel in there. I don't really need it for now. And uh, let's see here. Actually, you know what? I should get some food out. Uh, I don't think I have any fish yet. I think maybe I have some pork. No. Chicken? No. Um, yeah, that's not good. What do I have? Anything? I have a golden apple. Okay, I have a cooked chicken. I could have sworn at one point, and I got some cooked beef. Here, let's bring this inside, actually. I could have sworn uh, at this one point I got a uh, some like raw meat. Let's put this back down here and f take a look real quick. Actually, I'm just gonna slap it on the wall. It's a little bit more convenient. Uh, let's see. Let's look at raw. Ra oh, it was rabbit. Uh, you know what? That's fine, though. We'll take the rabbit. We'll actually take a quick snooze here. And then we'll hop out and cook 
some rabbits. Uh, get a little bit of food going. Freaking traitor scared me. Perfect. Alright, uh, so we'll get that rolling. Get some rabbit picked up, I suppose. Um, I just want to feed myself real quick. Uh, and then I don't have to worry about it. Uh, so, well, uh, yeah. Um, oh, I've got waste stones. I don't need to put a waste stone down because there's a waste stone right across over there in this tiny little village. Uh, one thing that's cool about this area that I settled down in is the lighting is different. Uh, the whatever biome I'm in, the Blackwood Taiga, uh, it's got kind of like an orangey haze to it all the time, which is really cool. So I like that. Uh, while I'm waiting on that meat to cook, I guess I can take a look at the the quests here and see uh, where I kind of left off at. I think, oh, you know what? Probably one of the best things that I can do is uh, I need to get uh, one of two options. I can build a little iron farm uh, using the Easy Villagers mod, and that is not like a super great automated way of doing things, but uh, I can generate some EMC that way, or I can uh, build a mob farm, and the mob farm will actually generate a pretty good amount of EMC, and it shouldn't be too complicated. I think I just need... Uh, uh, I'm going to need... Uh, Gosh, I can't think. I don't know. I think I'm going to go the mob farm route. I think I just need some um, iron for that, pretty much. So I'll uh, uh, get some iron smelted. I might even, uh, real quick, upgrade my uh, my furnaces. I just want to come over here and grab a couple of these redwood trees uh, so I can get some saplings and plant some redwood trees over by my base because I like these trees a lot. They're really cool. I should have taken a boat. It would have been a little bit faster. But that's okay. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the parkour mod that's on here and just climb like all the way to the top. Or as much to the top as I can. And let's see, what are we on? We're not on shapeless. Now we're on shapeless, I think. Hopefully that'll get the top. It did not. Well, that's fine. Um, we'll uh, slime sling up there maybe. That also didn't really work super well. Okay, uh, let's see. What can I do? Actually, here, I got this. We'll just jump up, and we'll kind of just kind of spam our way up here. Oh, and then almost forgot to hold down the... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I almost forgot to hold down the... Uh, uh, whatever. Oh, no. I... Uh, oh, no. I forgot that I was like mid-starvation, so I fly back over here and grab my food real quick. At least I have food cooking. But yeah, wow. What an inconvenience. I completely forgot that I was in desperate need of food. Okay, well, we'll grab out the food here and eat real quick. It might be worth, uh, like... Sooner rather than later, setting up a, uh, I didn't get any saplings yet, did I? Oh, I did. Well, I should finish cutting that tree down. Uh, invest in, uh, a feeding upgrade for my backpack. Probably be really smart. I thought that was the sun. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's not leave this floating tree. I can't stand that, so we'll take care of this real quick. Mob grinding. So we need to make a mob masher, which is not too bad. Um, I can make that, and then, uh, I need two mob fans. Also, not terrible. Okay. Uh, or vector plates. What's easier? I've been seeing a lot of vector plates. Vector plate. Obviously, it's not going to be, so... Fast, extreme, ultra, um, blackstone, 
Okay, so yeah, I could I could make these with the sugar. I guess these are a bit easier to make than and it makes six per craft, so yeah, that's not too bad. So let's grab some slime. Blackstone. I don't have any blackstone. Really? Do I have deep slate? I don't have deep slate either. What the? You gotta be kidding me. I actually can't believe this. Uh, I didn't go down far enough, apparently. That's a big bummer. Uh, not a problem. What I can do is uh, just dig straight down. It's not a big deal. I don't necessarily want to have a hole in the ground right next to my house. We'll just go down here, I suppose. Uh, actually, real quick, let's uh, grab some kind of light source before I go, so that I can have something to hold in my hand. Yeah, let's just use a glowstone block. Fuck it. Let's take a whole stack of glowstone blocks. Put those in the offhand, and voila. Don't go in my house. Stay out of my house. Well, that was short lived. Deep slate. All right, here we go. I think that is mostly what I needed, right? Deep slate. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, guess I could just foot climb out. This uh, parkour shit is actually crazy. Like being able to just climb up. Oh, sticky keys. Oh God. No, I don't want sticky keys. Disable this. Turn that off forever. Turn that off. Shortcut keys, start toggle keys. Turn all of these off. My goodness. Okay. Whew. Scared the hell out of me. My computer. Do you want sticky keys on? Nobody ever wants sticky keys on Windows. Come on now. Because I shouldn't say nobody ever, but I mean, come on. Who uses sticky keys? Some people, maybe. Me ever, not ever. One time was I like, you know what? Actually, sticky keys would be legit for this. All right, uh, let's throw stuff in. There we go. Beautiful. Now let's grab out a stack of deep slate. I need a uh, sugar. So we'll grab out a stack of sugar, and then I can make vector plates. There we go. 60 vector plates should be sufficient. Okay, so I got the vector plates. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to need to make tinted glass also. How do I make that? Tinted glass. Yes. So I need coal and just glass, uh, which I already have. I actually have all that. So let's go coal and glass. I can actually just craft this shit up now. Let's go. So we'll make some tinted glass, and that we can even just put into. I wish that had EMC, but yeah, we can even just put, we can throw that in there. And I know I'm gonna need a handful of those stacks of stuff. So uh, next, let's make the mob masher. I know I'm gonna need uh, some swords. Mem MPB masher, that's it. Mob masher. So I know I'm going to need uh, swords, so that's two. And then, so eight swords, th three blocks of iron, it looks like, and a redstone block. Okay, that's not too bad. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and uh, we got to do a little bit of groundwork here. Let's upgrade these bad boys. Do I have gold? I do not have gold. I don't have a chest in here. All right, that's fine. Let's 
Uh, wow. Wowie. Okay, let's make a chest real quick. Go ahead and make a double chest, and then uh, we can upgrade this. We'll upgrade it with the uh, sophisticated storage stuff later. But for right now, let's plop these suckers down. Actually, yeah, I need to actually plop these suckers down. Um, because... I need to smelt iron first. I guess I don't need to smelt that much iron. I need to make uh, 24, 24 iron. Uh, these can take augments, even though they're not factories yet. So that's actually really sick. I think that the speed augments are uh, are f are not too difficult to make. Uh, speed augment. Uh, yeah, I could make these. I just need stone, so we'll grab some stone. I might even have paper already made. I got a couple of paper, not enough. We'll make some more paper then. Fine, that's fine. There, paper. You happy? And uh, let's see here, yeah, and I got sugar, so I just need stone and redstone. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Let's go into here, grab some redstone, we'll grab a stack of that, and then just a stack of plain old stone. Stone, stone. And let's see, voila, yeah, amazing. I only wanna make three, that's incredible. Then we can pick these up, turn these into the gold ones. Or not. Or what? Oh no, I think it takes blocks of gold to make the gold ones, doesn't it? Hold on. Oh, it needs a block of gold. Okay, that's not too bad, but that means I need to make more stuff. So we gotta put these back down. It's a nice thing I just made these speed augments. So a uh, block of gold is nine. So I need that times three, so 27. 27 more gold. Okay, let's also put these speed augments in. There we go. Let's grab more gold. I like, oh, don't have enough EMC. I'm running out of EMC. Jeez. That's okay. We'll stop at gold. Uh, and that's already faster. I have speed augments in them, so that will make that this process like a lot less hateful. Uh, and we can put uh, some of the stuff back that we're done with for now. I guess, just to try to preserve EMC a little bit. Maybe I should make those. Uh, maybe I should make the iron farm with the easy villagers. That's not too terrible, I don't think. They're just kind of annoying. I don't like them that much. That tree grew up. That's nice. Oh, early game woes. All right, so let's grab out all this. I should have just picked up the things. Bro, you need to get the fuck out of my house. You're not welcome in here. Nice try. Try to escape, but it's not gonna help you, brother. Pick up all these. Now we'll craft ourselves some Some stuff here. Okay. Those and those. There we go.
No, stop putting it in that slot. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, I was going to make a bunch. I needed to make a bunch more iron. That being said, I am not ready for that. So, looks like we are indeed stuck on uh, making the iron farms. Bummer. I really didn't want to, but I guess you got to do what you got to do. So, it's early game. What can I say? Uh, also... Times it is not quite time yet. It gets darker in this uh, in this biome. Let's see here. We need to make uh, this so glass and dirt and iron. So dirt. I think it needs glass panes. Let's just grab out a stack of that. I don't know how much I'm gonna need. I'm probably gonna need. The same thing for all of the items. I think they use glass panes, right? Yeah. So let's make some glass panes. Uh, we'll make three. We'll make a like a, a stack to start. Actually, yeah, we'll make a whole stack. Boom. Okay. So I believe I should be able to make this one now, right? Yeah. So we got that. Should I build this just in my house? Let's see. If I go there, and then it needs a thingy. Hopper. Or pipe. Hopper is probably easier to start with. So farmer, hopper, breeder, hopper, incubator. Hopper, chest. So, um, yeah, we can do it here, I suppose. We'll go farmer, hopper, breeder, hopper, incubator, hopper. So the farmer needs to go like all the way to the top. Farmer, hopper, incubator, hop or breeder, incubator. But farmer, hopper, breeder, hopper, incubator, hopper, chest. So it doesn't have to go all the way to the top. Just like a second from the top, please. Push my arms were a bit longer. There we go. Okay. So we can put carrot, and we can put a homie in there. How much the homies are in the backpack? <sighs> Next, I need a hopper, and I'm gonna need three hoppers. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Hopper. These are just uh. Oh, it needs. You can make them with logs. That's interesting. Hmm. That's pretty neat. Um. Okay. Then let's grab logs and do it that way so I don't have to craft chests because I don't think... Oh, chests do have EMC. Never mind. We'll just go ahead and do that then. Make our three hoppers. Hopper. And then we need to make the breeder. Breeder, and that I need planks and a bed. Okay, damn, I'm not doing that. I will just, I'll sacrifice, or I'm not sacrificing my bed. I'll just make a new, <laughs> just make a new bed. And uh, yeah, I got plenty of planks here. So let's. Is there another fucking trader outside? How do I make them go away? Oh no, I'm hearing this block up here. I was like, come on, man. Okay, breeder. And now we need two more villagers. Y'all go in there. Then a hopper. And an incubator. wool for that. Just a single wool. There's that, and then I got the final hopper already. So put that there. Hopper there. And then last but not least, uh, should I use a chest or a barrel? We'll put a barrel. Oh. 
don't think I've learned barrel yet either. So I'll just craft this up, throw it into the tablet. For easy storage and boom. Cool. Now let's mute these sounds here. So here we go. Oh. These are already set. Oh, that's amazing. Cool. Never mind. We'll just anchor this here. That's already set up. So that means when I set up the mob farm, uh, I can just uh, do, uh, if I go in here, this uh, this second set here, um, if I turn this one on and I set the anchor, then that'll muffle all of the, muffle all of my mob uh, grinding sounds, which is gonna be actually incredibly helpful. Okay, so uh, that was not the end game actually, I forgot. We got the, this is just gonna be able to make me more villagers. What I need is, uh, and I'm going to need pipes for this, I need to set up uh, like an iron golem farm here. So let's see. I need uh, item pipes. Okay. And, uh, okay, that's not too bad. Just going to make uh, this stuff. And I need redstone and cobblestone. I'm going to just go ahead and put all this away for now. Yeah. All this stuff that's not being used currently go in here. Then we're going to go back and uh, we're going to pull out uh, cobblestone. We'll just do a stack, two stacks of cobblestone and a stack of redstone. And then let's see here. I think I just needed to make. We need to make. We'll make four of these. Oops. Maybe. There we go. Make four. Oh, I made five on accident. That's fine. It's EMCable, so it's not that big of a deal. We'll just put that one in. It's learned. Okay. And then uh, pipes. Need the iron out of the backpack. And, uh, wow, well, I'm not going to have a whole lot. I have enough to make... Uh, two sets of pipes, which is actually perfect because that's all I crafted uh, the uh, trappers for. So yeah, we'll grab those. We now have pipes and go ahead and throw this stuff away. Next, we need to look at the iron farm. That's going to be lava buckets. That's um, a bit more of a challenge. Although, let's see. What is it going to cost to take a, to make an ender tank? Blaze rods. That's going to be the biggest obstacle, I think, is the blaze rods. I need to get just one initial blaze rod, and then I will have blaze rods. But for, to start, no blaze rods are available. So that's fine. We'll go like this. Um, Uh, yeah, because then we can set it up to a double chest. That'll probably be good. And I can have, well, no. Let's do it like this. We can do it just a single chest, but then I can do three iron things off of that. So I think that's the way we want to set it up. And we'll just, instead of doing a single chest, we'll do a barrel. Those are upgradable. Oh. All right, uh, lava bucket time. I guess I should slash home now just because I don't have room. Oh, God dang. Just as soon as the, oh no. I'm far away. Shit. Let's, uh, I was like, I can't teleport, can I? 
Uh, I'm going to have to turn this back on and uh, glide my happy ass across the fucking planet. Wow, that sucks. Which way is it? That way. Good lord. What is this marker? Did I die here at some point? I don't know what this is. There's no, like... I don't know. I do not know. Uh, well, actually, while I'm over here, let's take a look. Yeah, there's lava. There's service lava out here. All right, let's go. Oh, there's a fucking waste on here too. What am I thinking? I can use the waste on. I don't have to fly. I'm a fool. All right, sweet. So we lucked out. We got surface lava, and there's a waste on here. So okay, that wasn't too bad. Nice. Okay, cool. Love that. I just heard a chicken, uh, and I would like to pick it up, because I know we don't need it. I can't pick up the chicken? Come on. Fuck. Alright, fine. That sucks. Fine. I got the lava I needed, so good. We good. <sighs> Can't bring the chicken home with me. That's unfortunate. All right. Now I can make a bunch of these iron farms. How many villagers do I have? I should go uh, probably get some more villagers, too. But first, let's get this set up. So I know I need stone and some glass panes, which got the glass pane here uh, and regular stone. I can grab out of the tablet stone, and then yeah, we'll just make as many of these as I can. Okay, good. That's perfect to start. Oh, it's daytime. Cool. And I had seven of these guys, right? First, let's make a pipe wrench. I think I need flint and sticks. Flint, stick, come on now, there we go, pipe wrench, turn these all into exports. So disconnect that there. Not that it really matters a whole lot, but it'll be nice. Okay, exports set up. Just gonna grab a few more villagers. I'm actually gonna save this guy, but yeah, so that'll be three, six. So I need six more villagers that I can find. And four. Perfect. So I should now have 12, right? Perfect.
Alright, perfect. Now those are all set up. Every four minutes they will generate an iron ingot. So that will allow me to get rolling with that. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I think next time I will uh, work on uh, getting the mob master set up. And that will be a much, that'll be a bit more of an efficient uh, EMC generation method. So, yeah, I think not too bad for the uh, first episode. I got uh, just like the very start of my farm set up. This is what's going to allow me to kind of get my foot in the door to everything that we want to accomplish in this pack. So, yeah. Uh, I thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you have any feedback or anything, feel free to leave a comment for me down below. Um, and, uh, yeah, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, definitely come back to check out uh, the uh, subsequent episodes that are going to be coming out. We're going to uh, try to do this whole this whole pack. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be long, long, long time before I'm finally done with everything here. So, yeah, um, you can find me on Twitch. Uh, I stream over there on twitch.tv slash pugnacity. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, anyway, I appreciate you for watching, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.